here's why VR matters to parents. Now, I got something new. Uh, this is the Oculus Quest number two. Uh, this is the second Quest. And I've been interested in VR for a very long time. Uh, long before I ever had any kids, I was interested in VR. My first uh, VR experience was at the uh, in the early 1990s uh, at the Calgary Stampede, a virtuality group shooter uh, that could be played with four or students. Let me show you what I mean. So this is uh, what it would look like. Uh, I'm proud to say that I shot my way through to win my very first uh, death match, uh, and I also looked at how VR can be used as an educational activity uh, with the first Oculus Rift. Now with that one, I could not play for long because uh, it would give me like headaches. So why Quest 2 as opposed to the first Quest? Well, as somebody who has worked in products, uh, my advice has always been never buy version one, <laughs> always buy version two, because version two is what version one should have been at a much more reasonable price. Uh, but the second reason is actually a much, much more controversial reason. And I think this is interesting. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Facebook writes on the box that it requires internet access and a Facebook account. This is the more controversial reason. And this to me is interesting because it's a device that only works in the social space. That is, you can't just choose to play virtual reality games standalone. It's clear that the direction that they are taking this product is virtual social networking. So after some initial training, my first experience was in a virtual music concert app called Venues. I jumped into a lobby and was greeted by user XSAS, who showed me how to use the app. And from that point on, I knew that this would be a very different experience from my previous experiences with VR. My VR actions would be tied to my online identity in a permanent way. So may, some of you may have noticed that we use a, a woman riding a bike with a VR headset on as the backdrop for most of our thumbnails. There's an iconic image of Mark Zuckerberg walking among an audience all wearing VR headsets. And this was a perfect analogy of tech being used as a blindfold that hides us from what is really going on in the world. AI parenting was started so that you can see these invisible, unconscious suggestions made by AI. And so that we don't always only use it for sedation, but for relation and ultimately creation. So if you're interested in the future of screen time and what this means for your family, then you'll want to be subscribed to this channel. Uh, we are going to be doing some experiments with Oculus Quest. I think it's very exciting. Uh, not only that, uh, I've got a setup where I can also... Uh, instant green screen. So we'll be able to do some kind of live views and stuff like that. Do you want to see what that looks like? Good. Now I'm going to set up the Guardian. Thank you. 
go. Welcome to Oculus. After this tutorial, you'll be ready to explore. First, let's get familiar with the Guardian system. Look around you. This grid wall is the Guardian system. This grid shows the boundaries of your play area. Don't move or reach beyond it. It's time to learn about your Oculus Touch controllers. Now, try pressing all of the glowing buttons with your thumbs. Try moving the thumbsticks around. The thumbsticks can also be pressed like buttons. Next, use your index fingers to squeeze the triggers on your controllers. Locate the grip buttons and squeeze them with your middle fingers. Now let's see what your virtual hands can do. To make a fist, squeeze the grip with your middle finger and hold it down. To point, keep squeezing the grip and just lift your index finger. Now use your index finger to push the button in front of you. To pick up an object, squeeze and hold the grip button with your middle finger. Release the grip button to drop it. Your virtual hands can do just about anything. Go ahead, play with some of these items. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. Here's a few more to try. Well, that's interesting. When you're ready to explore some new VR worlds, insert a cartridge into the console. <laughs> yeah, the graphics are so much better than I recall when I was playing Oculus the first one.
So, I would. When you're ready to explore another virtual world, insert the cartridge into the console. In a future episode, I'll look forward to having a conversation with Steve Bambury, the founder of Virtual I Teach, uh, which provides resources and tools for educators. Thanks, and I will see you soon, virtually or in person. <laughs>